And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. And we have the pleasure of having VFX extraordinaire, Herman Huang, AKA Coffee Liquor, here on the channel today. And what he has to show you is gonna be amazing. How's it going, Josh? We're gonna be breaking down uh, how to create captivating content with a dollar store budget. So basically what we're gonna be breaking down is this video game post that I made on Instagram. And it's not using any 3D elements or anything like that, just some simple skills in After Effects and some dollar store items. So. Let's get into it. Sick. Love it. All right, guys, so let's break it down. Starting from the beginning, basically we're using the technique that I shared on your channel, which is the uh, pop out 3D effect on Instagram. So like I said, I didn't use any 3D elements or anything like that. Uh, these are all live shot. And um, if I go through it real quick, so the first thing that I did is, I well, for this one actually, I didn't even use any of the dollar store items that I bought. I just used some things that were already in my house, uh, things I already had, for example, a green screen, and uh, also the controller that's in my hand. I just bought a Steam controller that I never really used, so I thought, why not put it to use now? And um, in terms of the lighting setup, um, to kind of really break things down, I had uh, just a soft box to light as a key light, but I also had a pink light, um, kind of like the same light that I'm using right now to light uh, this set, where it's blue, but I changed it to pink. And then to kind of match the scene, um, not only did I make sure that the background uh, graphic that I'm using has a tint of pink to it, but I also added like a light leak, uh, a lens uh, lens flare type of uh, overlay on top that is also kind of pink to help match the scene and create this crazy world. So what's happening now is I'm tracking this motion graphic that I made onto the controller. And this motion graphic is just a mixture of a lot of things. It's just some flickering text, uh, this using shape layers already in After Effects and then adding a glow to it. There's not much to it. And if we play it through, so there's this glitching thing that happens and then also furthering the motion graphic uh, with this whole error message. And then what's interesting is that, uh, like I said, I'm using live elements. So this is a real controller. And what I'm doing is basically throwing it out from my hand and landing it on a pillow off the screen, but it's gonna swap into a uh, footage of a of the controller actually hanging from a fishing wire so as you see it transitions into this wow. where there's a fishing wire that i erased of course and it's in front of a green screen that um is used in the background here as well and that's basically how this is done so that it protrudes this screenshot of uh, instagram so it looks like it's giving that 3d effect so let's keep playing this through breaks the uh, Instagram interface, has this motion graphic saying that I'm trapped. And then basically, um, I forgot to mention that in this series, there are four posts. So this is a intro video. And basically knowing that Instagram has a carousel feature to it and you can put multiple posts in it, I knew that when you swipe it, I can kind of continue the animation. And what I mean by that is this graphic on the bottom over here, I have half the face showing, but the other half is already showing in the next video. So when you swipe it, it feels like the motion continues. And you'll kind of know what I mean uh, if you actually go to my Instagram post and see it, but you'll also notice uh, when we play the next video as well. But first, of course, we're gonna talk about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor, and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage, like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning, they also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. Yeah, that's the next video. So let's break it down from the beginning. Uh, this is the part where I mentioned the whole continuing of the animation, it continues the motion of the right. We got this graphic of the environment for this next one. 
Mm-hmm. And this is when I started using those uh, dollar store elements that I mentioned earlier. So everything that you see here is just After Effects and uh, some Skittles. That's it. So all these pieces of candy. Those are real candies, Skittles? Yeah, these are real Skittles, man. I just bought like three packs of them and <laughs> hope that that was enough for this. And, That's um, dope. I know some of you who are watching are probably thinking, Herman, there's no blue Skittles. There's no black Skittles. What, what is this? Um, this is just changing the colors in After Effects. So just making sure that there's enough contrast uh, and separation so that there's a you know a definitive color for the border and it's not the same as you know Pac-Man here and the ghosts as well. And basically this is kind of like stop motion-y. So if you watch the animation of the Pac-Man, for example, it's opening and closing its mouth and that's maybe like four images where I rearranged the Skittles so it would look like he's closing and opening his mouth. I'm just realizing that even the Pac-Man figures are Skittles. Yeah, yeah, the ghosts are made out of Skittles too. And then there's some wow. googly eyes. Yeah, googly eyes that you can get from any arts and crafts store. <laughs> yeah, so when we continue playing this... So this is when I, this is when I really wanted to kind of test the, I guess, engagement and make this post interactive and have the person feel like they're in control and make it feel like they're actually playing a video game, even though Instagram doesn't technically allow this, right? So... Mm-hmm. When that happens, when they tilt their phone, I was hoping that it would give this illusion that all the candies um, would basically fall to the corner. Some of them are done digitally in After Effects, so they were done with keyframes and I just masked the Skittle, but I didn't want to do that for each and every single one. Not only would that be kind of tedious, but also the um, feeling of it actually falling and having some gravity to it when you're tilting your phone wouldn't feel organic as well. So that's why I made this weird contraption. Right now there's probably footage showing it and it's basically a C-stand where I hooked up the camera from a bird's eye view so you can see all this. And then I also rigged it so the platform that's holding all this candy and everything um, attached to the C-stand as well. So I basically tilted the entire C-stand, including the camera and the platform, so that it would all uh-huh, lean uh-huh. and fall over to the corner of this uh, screen. That's sick. Okay. All right, so that's the second video. Yeah, so let's break this down. Let's get into it. Just to kind of really break things down, this background right here is not just black. It's um, kind of like watercolor paper. I wanted to give that texture to it so it felt like it's kind of a painting uh, that is being animated or the Tetris blocks are made out of watercolor painting. And I actually think I have it over here. Um, Basically what I did was I took some watercolor Uh paper that I already had because um, it was... Uh a very short-term hobby of mine to paint a little bit. So I had some supplies already, and I'm sure you can buy, you know, painting supplies, at least cheap ones from your dollar store as well. And I basically painted an entire, like, piece of paper, uh, a certain color. Yeah, so the thing is, like, the blocks itself, like this graphic, like the outline, um, I'm using kind of That's just real? a graphic template, but the actual texture to it is real. So I actually have it right here, if I can show it on camera. That's that's dope. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. This blue one over here, blue one over here, and also this red one over here. So that if I were to shift the colors, I have two options. I thought it would be fun to have the viewers a little more engaged and actually use their finger and become the Tetris block, which is kind of odd, but I was hoping it would be cute. Yeah, and that's it. That's that was the uh, other video, the third one. Thank you, thank you. I love this one. Makes you feel powerful.
Sick! Whoa, it's Harmon. You guys freed me. That's dope. So much dope. Hot to be. Dude, how long did it take you to do just that ending part? You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> it was one of those things where um, I just kept shaving away at it every free time that I had. But I think overall, this whole project took me maybe a month uh, from the shooting process to wow. the editing process. But it's not like I was working on it a month straight. So it was just whenever uh, right. I was off work or during my weekends. Wow. Yeah. So let's break it down for the beginning. Uh, there's a lot to cover for this one, I think. So we got our let's continuation of this graphic over here. The continuity. And then talking mm -hmm. about these uh, elements over here, like I said, none of these things are 3D. So the way that they're tilting, um, believe it or not, they're, okay, first of all, these spaceships are folded by, how would I say it? They're like gift bags. You know, when, you, uh, when you're when you giving someone a birthday present and you got and you wanna get this bag and you go to the dollar store and you gotta put your, put your present inside. So I was looking for something mm -hmm. that would look kind of spaceshipy or feel a little bit hologrammy or something along those mm -hmm. lines, some sort of interesting texture. And uh, basically, I cut it into a square. I looked up origami tutorials online because I have no idea how to fold a spaceship. I had to do, I had to like try it out first to make sure that my spaceship wouldn't look like an elephant or something. <laughs> and um, wow, yeah. So once I figured, I got the hang of it. I folded these uh, using the gift bags paper to uh, basically make these spaceships. So I had to make three mm -hmm. three of them. So one is the main one and then these other minion ones are, as well. And then of course the boss one that later comes on. And the way that I'm mm -hmm. having these tilt is I basically taped some fishing wire to both sides of the wings. And then I used my hands to kind of like tilt them and rock them left and right. So I'd have kind of like <laughs> clean shots of those. And um, this is all on top of a green screen, of course. So all I had to do was key it out and then mask out the uh, fishing wire. And that's how I uh, wow. did it for those three ships. Yeah, let's yeah. Uh, keep breaking it down. Yeah, so um, I mean, these uh, shots, like these lasers are just motion graphic overlays. Um, nothing too special about them. You can use your favorite kind. You can even make them from scratch from After Effects as well. Some glitchy effects using some some plugins. Uh, this one from Red Giant, I believe. They have like a glitch uh, plugin in their universe uh, set. No, no. And then, okay, this one happens really fast. I wanted to slow it down so that you can really see the morphing process. But if I were to break this down, ships they line up into like this kind of square kind of thing. And basically, what happens is each one of them unfolds so that they fall back into the big ship. Wow. Yeah. So did not even notice that. Yeah. You don't really notice that the first time through because it happens pretty fast and there's motion graphic on it. So I was really debating whether or not I wanted to cake it too much with effects or to just have something right. that looks kind of fluid and flies by, but something that you can maybe appreciate when you watch it again. So yeah, uh, basically it's like stop motion. So I had some photos of the ships unfolding in several steps and then folding back into the uh, big one. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, mixing, mixing techniques, you know? I never tried stop motion, but I thought, um, why not? Uh, there's this really good um, stop motion artist. His name's Kevin B. Perry, and I follow a lot of his stuff. Yes. And he inspires the hell out of me. So I thought, you know what? If he can do stuff like that too, I would really want to implement those types of techniques into what I do next as well. Freaking sick. Yeah, so utilizing the same feature as the Tetris one, using your finger, I thought another way to use it is to become a barrier. Like Josh says, nice. it makes you feel powerful. You're the one who destroyed that ship. You're the one who freed me. It's on me, man. That was dope, bro. Love it. Yeah, fun. Freedom. Funny thing about this, this screen here is, uh -huh. is the black magic studio camera that we got for work wow. and we never use it. It has this large like LCD display and we never used it. So I thought, uh -huh. all right, let's just use, use whatever I can, you know, like whatever that you have That's in your the house. Back of it? Yeah, this is the back of it. Wow. Yeah. So all these buttons are like, you know, they're, they're like record buttons and the iris and so on. Wow, dude, that's 
Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Use what you have, guys. Herman, I think this is a really cool example of showing how um, you can utilize the things that you have along with having a little bit of skill and creativity to create an amazing final product. And I think that your work is testament to that. I'm fully impressed. Thanks so much, Josh. Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Herman, one of the awesome teachers that we have on the channel. Thanks so much for sharing your knowledge with us. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.